County Board of Supervisors will enter into a consent order with the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality for its sewer plant violations. Kagan Hughes tells us what the consent order means for Greene County. Greene County took over Rapid and Service Authority more than 10 months ago, but after not observing activities close enough, it will now have to pay a fee and have a plan in place. It's continuing issues with a treatment process that needs to be added to our sewage treatment plant, um, whereby we can treat and remove zinc as the primary uh, constituent in our effluent that exceeds the allowed limits. Dave Hundell is the interim director of water and sewer. He says is going to add a treatment process. This sort of a consent order gives us about two years to uh, have the this process added at our plant. Uh, there's going to be some construction and there'll be a design and a bidding process and then a contract will be chosen and they'll install this. The consent order will also make sure Greene County will closely monitor its systems 24 seven. The county experienced a few um, sewage overflows, particular at a lift station. There was one that went on for several hours or several days, perhaps. In Greene County, Kagan Hughes, 29 News.